Hey everyone, meteorologist Josh Singernelli here on Kids Connection with another science lesson. And this week we're going to be focusing on something called matter. We have four types of matter. We will talk about three of them. Solids, liquids, and also a gas. Inside here in this bubble maker, this is what we call a liquid. You can also see liquid in a water bottle. It doesn't have a fixed shape. It doesn't have a fixed size and it forms around whatever container it's in. That's why it's called a liquid. Other liquids are juice, milk. You see liquids uh, in the lake or the ocean. You can see, again, it doesn't have a fixed shape or size. It becomes that shape of whatever container it's in. Let's talk about something else. We'll talk about a solid. This is a solid. You can see it has a fixed shape, a fixed size. No matter what you do to it, it's not going to change the size or shape. You could put this in water and it's still going to be this exact same shape, this exact same size. And you can see this is just one of my son's toys. Now let's talk about the third type of matter and that is a gas. A gas is different than a liquid in that it always tries to expand. So we have a gas inside this mosquito repellent and it's stuck inside of this mosquito repellent, but it's trying to expand outward. Now, as soon as we push the trigger on this, you can see the gas is released. The gas is also surrounding us at all times. As we look around, the gas that we're seeing right now or not seeing is actually oxygen in the air. Every time we breathe, we're breathing that gas called oxygen. There's a ton of other gases inside the atmosphere as well, but one of them that's really important for us to breathe every single day is oxygen. I hope you learned a little bit about matter. We'll now send things to my colleague, meteorologist Caitlin McGrath. She has an awesome, awesome science experiment. Are you guys ready to make your own chemical reaction? This experiment is so cool and easy to do. All you need are a few teaspoons of baking soda, a plastic bottle filled with about a third of vinegar, a funnel, I didn't have one so I just made one out of paper and tape, and a balloon. First thing you're going to do is take your funnel and your balloon, position the funnel inside the balloon, and put in about a teaspoon of baking soda. If you have a bigger balloon, you can fit in more baking soda, but if it's a smaller one like I have, you can only fit in about a teaspoon. Once you have your baking soda inside your balloon, you'll take the balloon and position it over the mouth of your bottle. Then you're going to take your balloon filled with baking soda and dump the baking soda inside your bottle with vinegar and notice what happens. It causes your chemical reaction. This acid-based reaction causes carbon dioxide gas. The gas bubbles up and expands and inflates your balloon. Another cool thing about these balloons is that carbon dioxide is heavier than air. So if you take your balloon off the top of your bottle and tie a knot at the end and drop it, notice how much quicker it falls than a balloon filled with air. Pretty neat, right? You just made your own chemical reaction.